Okay, so um, let's look inside of Easy Peasy Math 1. The parent's guide is really thin and um, it's straightforward. It's really easy to understand. Um, there's nothing at all complicated about this. Um, so we've got your um, subject that you're going to be covering at the top and then it's divided by days. Beside the day will be um, your supplies. If there's no supplies needed, there won't be anything there. But if there is, it will be in parentheses by the day. And then she just has bullets um, listing what you should do. So students will count to 20 on the first day. And then they'll do day one worksheet. And then students will count to 100. Do day two worksheet. Quiz your child um, asking what number comes before or after a given number. And then she gives you an example, what number comes after 23? So basically she gives you a layout of how to teach the lesson and then what worksheet to do. And um, like I said, all, all of the um, materials that you're going to need will be read by the day. And the materials that you need are going to be things that you pretty much will have just laying around your house, like crayon, um, maybe, I don't know, coins, um, things like that. So on this one, she wants you to have 11 pieces of scrap paper. So it's pretty, um, like I said, pretty straightforward and the lessons are short. They are not these big, long, drawn out lessons and they're to the point and they work really well. Then at the back, there's 180 days um, of lessons here. So that's your average um, school year will last for 180 days. So you have 180 days of lessons. You'll do one lesson per day and one worksheet per day. So at the back of the teacher's manual, there is um, an answer key for all your worksheets. Um, I never even used it honestly um, because it's level one you don't necessarily need it um, but I did find the parents guide helpful for the lessons and giving you ideas of what to do and activities on how to teach it I guess it wouldn't necessarily be something that you would have to have because it's pretty straightforward I guess you could just um, put together your own lessons but I liked to have um, the teacher's manual just to it's open and go okay so this is inside the math workbook it has a completion chart which we obviously weren't very good at filling out and then you have your worksheets by day so day three your day will be up here in the left hand corner and um, what your topic is will be at the top and then you will have your worksheet to do this one's on even numbers then odd or even hundreds chart that they'll fill out and see this one is from day 6 to day 10 so what they'll do here is um, they will be using it. Um, there's directions at the bottom. Day six, you'll write number one through 20 and then start with one and count my twos out loud. So they give you an activity to do every day. Um, you'll still have your day six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 worksheets, but you will also do this beforehand. So you'll do um, 120. 21 to 30, um, I mean 21 to 40, sorry, and so on. And you'll be skip counting um, those days as well. They do something similar um, for that 
with addition, where you'll do just a line of addition, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then you'll also do your weekly, um, let's see if I can find one, your weekly, um, worksheets. So as you can see, these are, uh, there's quite a bit of addition practice, so you're just, um, practicing your basic addition facts. And my son really enjoyed this. Honestly, like, he loved getting in and doing his math. There were days that um, he did more than one day because um, he just wanted to. Um, he liked the little silly pictures and the different things. It's not colorful. Um, the workbook's not colorful on the inside, but that was definitely not a problem because he liked to color in the pictures sometimes. So uh, that worked out really well. Okay, this was what I was talking about with the um, daily practice with the addition. So you would do um, day 46, day 47, day 48, day 49, and day 50. Um, so you, you would do a line and then you would do your worksheet and then you would do a line in your worksheet throughout the week. I liked that they had this. It was kind of like a little drill before um, he did his worksheet and so he was able to really um, master his addition facts this year from all the practice that he got. There's the time that it covers. Fact families. Graphing. Money. And at the back, you get a congratulations, you've completed first grade math. They have these little puzzles, too, that my son really liked. The little math crossword puzzles, and um, they'd have math mazes with addition. And it, it mixed it up. It wasn't the same, just drills, um, drill pages every day. It was mixed up. So um, what I really liked about this program was that it was really simple and easy to follow. Um, parents guide um, is super straightforward, easy to follow, um, as well as the math workbook. Everything's laid out by day, so it's pretty much open and go curriculum. Um, you don't have to take time to plan out these lessons. It's all right there for you. You can just open it up, grab up materials you need, because um, it's probably going to be stuff that's already in your cabinets. So. Um, those are the things that I really liked about it. I felt like it went really well, and I definitely would recommend this curriculum. Um, if you're on a budget or um, you're just looking around for a new math curriculum, um, I would definitely recommend this curriculum to anybody. So um, why did we choose this instead of the online version? Um, we chose it because um, we like to have a um, paper version so we don't, um, in case we were to uh, get on the internet or try to get on the internet and our internet was down that day and um, or for some reason we were somewhere where we didn't have access to a computer or whatever, um, this ensures that that's not going to happen, it's not going to get in the way of it. That's why we prefer this. And you can always go um, to the corresponding day on her um, website and um, I believe it's allinonehomeschool.com and um, you can find the activities, the games that she has for um, the corresponding day and do those um, games as well if your child needs extra practice. So, um, well, that is about all I can think of um, for this math program. Um, so if you have any more questions, um, 
that you would like me to answer, just leave those in the comments and I'll do my best to answer those.